Thanks for checking out our channel. What we're gonna be looking at is a 2019 Ford F-150 Police Responder Edition. one's built for the Cresco, New Jersey Police Department. What we have up front is a Centina PB450L with four sound off signal lights in it. These are in tri-color. These lights give a left alley, takedown, and right alley function to provide more scene lighting at an incident. We also have a headlight flasher installed that's currently on park kill. Up top, we have a sound off signal in tri-color configuration, so the light bar is red, blue, scene light override. Taking a look at the vehicle now in driver response mode, you can see that the headlight flasher is now active and the pattern in the light bar has changed to provide more visibility for oncoming traffic. And then you can also see that the pattern has stayed the same in the push bumper along with our side lights. So now what we've done is we've activated the front takedown, the left alley, and the right alley feature. You can see down in the fog lights we have sound off signal hideaway LEDs that were on before flashing. These are now on with our takedown button. You can see that our side light on the push bumper is now in steady white and along with the same on our mirror is also doing steady white. So taking a look at the side of the vehicle, you can see the custom graphics package that we install in this vehicle. This is all 3M reflective material. On the side of the mirror, we have a sound off signal 3 inch M-Power. This is in tri-color configuration. We also have the white bar that we spoke about before in tri-color configuration. One thing that the system has is the Blueprint Multiplex Electrical System in it with the OBD2 interface. So it allows us to pull signals from the vehicle without splicing any wire. So we're able to do park, drive, reverse, and then we also can take functions from the door and cut items off. So when the driver's door opens, it kills the corner of the light bar and kills the corner light on the mirror. So that way it doesn't blind the officer when they get out of the car. And then you can see as soon as that door closed, the corner goes back. And then on the side of the light bar, we have sound off signal four inch M powers. They're on the side of the back rack and also up top. These provide additional scene lighting when the left alley light or the right alley light is turned on. So taking a look at the side of the cabinet, this customer requested that we remove the second row seat from the vehicle to give them more storage inside the vehicle. So what they have is the weapons drawer with the traditional simplex lock. This allows them to store their weapon vertically on this with a mount. And then we have two parts drawers that they're able to store flares and anything else. These drawers are only a third deep. The center section of the compartment is separated so that they can store equipment from the front driver's seat. Take a look at the passenger side of the cabinet. We have storage for flares, and then we also have more one-third storage for compartment space. This lets them store things such as uh, caution tape, any other small tools that they might have. So taking a look at the back of the vehicle, you can see we've installed a back rack headache rack to help protect the back window if they were to flip the cover up or throw anything else in the bed of the pickup truck. You see we have a sound off signal Enforce 8 head light with in dual color configuration. 8 head sound off signal Enforce traffic advisor with red and blue warning and it also has a white override feature for reverse and to provide additional bed light. Up top we installed a back industry solid tunnel cover. This flips up into three sections so they're able to get to some of the equipment in the vehicle. In the reverse light, we've replaced it with a sound off signal hideaway LED. This does white for reverse and white for rear scene along with flashing when the car is in uh, park. And then on the bumper, we have sound off signal four inch M powers in tri-color. These also do white override. And then you can see when we drop the tailgate, we've installed a tilt switch into the tailgate and it puts our bumper lights into a steady white mode. And then also the corners of the arrow stick into white so that they're able to provide additional warning into the bed area. So one thing that we did with this truck to maximize the storage of the bed without having to climb up and get into it, they have the tonneau cover which protects it from the elements. So we've installed this full depth, full slide out slide master aluminum track system along with a, a aluminum tray on top. And then we've installed this cargo track system that allows them to move the track system and the ratchet so that they're able to strap down different equipment and it's not limiting the vehicle in any way. Taking a look at the center console, they've chosen the wide body Havis Shield console for this vehicle. So it gives them 12 volt outlets, the factory relocation of the USB port, and then a large binder storage. We've installed their flashlight on the back side of it. And then we've installed their two radios and their scanner along with the blueprint electrical system. We've also had their laptop docking station and mount. And then you can see at the back side, they have their large open storage area for 
more equipment from the driver's side. They also have the ability to put stuff up top with this lip on top of the cabinet and it won't fall off if they're driving around. So taking a look at the controller on this system, the Blueprint Electrical System allows us to give tons of control to the user and customizable for each vehicle. This vehicle has the arrow stick controller built into it along with the takedown left alley and right alley. And then below it, we have a full vehicle crew. So we're able to put the lights on about a 50% power and they're just a steady glow. We're also able to dim the lights as they're flashing to about 60% so that at nighttime situations, you're able to reduce the distracted driving. We have the rear cut. So if you're in a pursuit where you have somebody pull up behind you, you have the ability to shut all the rear warning lights off. We have the rear scene, which turns all the rear lights into white to give you more scene lighting the same as you would as a takedown left alley or right alley switch. If you like what you see, check out our website, www.1075vehicles.com, and you can view all of our latest deliveries and our available build options for you. Thanks for checking out our video, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Leave a like on this video and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate your attention and support. Thank you.